Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drum crush bus in Reaper. Now, the idea of a drum crush bus is to create a separate bus that we compress or distort a lot and mix it back in with the original drums. I'm going to show you how to create that inside Reaper. So I have a track in front of me here with a bunch of drums. Let's hear it. Now, in my opinion, this sounds a bit weak or anemic, so we're going to make it sound stronger or more aggressive using a drum crush bus. So the first thing we'll do is create a new track down here, and we'll name it Drum Crush. And now we're going to bust all the drum tracks to this track. So we'll select them all, hold down Shift, while we grab the routing and drag it to that track. Notice how the cursor changes to a patch cable, letting us know we're creating a send. So if we drop it and we go into the routing on this track, we'll see that all our tracks here are sending to our crush bus. And by default, they're full up and post fader which is what we want for this. So if we change our mix on these tracks, it's going to change the blend on the crush bus as well, which is a good thing. So let's close this. And if we play it back now, we're going to hear the drums from the original tracks and also from this new track. We don't want that for now. So let's take all these tracks out of the master parent set, which we could do with them all selected Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click the routing button. Now these tracks are not coming out of the master parent sent. So if I mute this track, we're not going to hear the drums. But we will hear it through this track. And it's the same blend that we heard before. So now we want to add some effects to this track to really crush it. Let's go to the effects. And let's start off with a compressor. We we'll use Rhea Comp, but you could use any compressor that you prefer. But this one works pretty well. And we'll start off with a fast attack, a fast release, and bring the ratio up to about four to one. Then we can bring down the threshold to really crush it. Let's hear it. Now we can bring up the attack so we can hear the transients coming through. Right about there. Then we can bring up the release so it really pumps in time with the song. Before, that's pretty crushed. But we should bring up the output right here to make up the difference in the volume. That feels good there. It's really pumping and very aggressive. Next, we could add some distortion to make it sound even more aggressive. So we'll search under all plugins, distort. And we'll choose this one right here. Let's set it to stereo, bring down the gain, and bring it up for the perfect amount of distortion. That's feeling pretty good. 
Now let's add an EQ to bring out the upper mid range. We we'll use the Reaper one, re EQ, and let's boost the upper mid range. Just so it's a bit more present. Nice. Now we can mix this back in with the original drums. So let's select them all again. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, click the routing button. And that's going to turn back on the master pair and send for all the tracks. So now if we mute the crush bus, we're going to hear the drums the way they played back before. But now we can mix in our crush bus to get the perfect level. And we'll do that from the mixer. Here's our drums and here's the crush bus. So let's bring it down and slowly bring it up to taste. That sounds a lot better. And notice, you don't notice the distortion or the pumping quite as much, because it's blending with the original drums. But it makes it sound more powerful or more aggressive when we blend it in. Before, That sounds a lot better to me. Now we can get more aggressive with this. Let's go back to it. And instead of using this distortion, let's try a different one. We'll search again on the Distort All Plugins. And we can choose this one right here, Distort Fuzz, which gives a different sound than the other one. Let's put it before the EQ. Now this is kind of loud. So let's bring the shape down completely and switch it to stereo. And let's solo the crush bus so we just hear that. As you can tell, it's a lot more aggressive. When we blend it back in, it'll sound more subtle. So let's bring it in very slowly. And if you want to change the blend of the drum sending to the crush bus, we could do it from the routing. Let's give it less kick. Let's bring down the setting just a bit to one. Let's blend that in. Again, when you mix it in perfectly, you don't notice the distortion or the compression quite as bad. But it does pump or bring the sound out more in front of the speakers. Now, one other thing I sometimes do to make this easier is I'll duplicate the crush bus, duplicate tracks. Then I'll name the first one, All Drums, 
and turn off the effect on this one. Bolt on the PC, option on the Mac. Now this track is just dry. Then we'll select these tracks and take them out of the master parent send. Bolt on the PC, option on the Mac. Now we're going to hear the drums from just these two places. Let's put this one full up and blend it this way. And what that does is it gives us more control of the dry drums against the crushed drums. So you can control them from one fader. But the result is still the same. It just matters how much control you really need. But feel free to experiment using any of your favorite plugins for compressors, for distortion and even EQ. Make it sound really aggressive or pump, and then blend it back in with the original drums. So that's pretty much it. That's creating a drum crush bus in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.